if you are interested in tutoring maths online, here are a few steps you can take to get started. The first step is to determine your target audience. The first step in starting any tutoring business is to determine who you will be tutoring. Will you be working with students of a specific age range or grade level? Will you focus on a particular math subject or curriculum? Having a clear idea of your target audience will help you tailor your services and marketing efforts. The second thing you need to do is to choose a platform. There are several platforms available for online tutoring, including video conferencing software like Zoom, Skype, or even Google Meet, and online tutoring platforms like Tutomi, Wizant, and Versity Tutor. Now, choose a platform that meets your needs and is comfortable for you to use. The third thing you might want to do is to set your rates. Determine how much you will charge for your tutoring services, taking into account your experience, qualifications, and the demand for your services. Be sure to research the going rate for tutors in your area to help set competitive prices. The fourth thing you might want to do is to market your services. Market your services. Once you have all the logistics in place, it's time to start marketing your services. Consider creating a website or social media presence to showcase your skills and experience and reach out to potential clients through networks and referrals. By following these steps, you can get started on your journey as an online math tutor and start helping students succeed. Sure, there are a few more details to consider as you start tutoring math online. Make a math plan. Make a lesson plan. Before each tutoring session, it is a good idea to create a lesson plan, outlining the topics and the objectives you will cover. This will help you stay organized and ensure that you are effectively teaching the material. Use visual aids. Visual aids such as diagram, chart, and graphs can be very helpful in explaining math concepts. Consider using these tools to help your students better understand the material. Encourage practice. Regular practice is essential for improving math skills. Encourage your students to work through practice problems and review concepts on their own to reinforce what they have learned. Be patient and positive. Tutoring can be challenging at times, so it is important to be patient and positive with your students. Encourage them when they make progress and help them work through any challenges they may face. Offer additional resources. Consider providing your students with additional resources such as handouts, worksheets, or online practice problems to help them further their understanding of the material. By following these tips, you can create an effective and engaging learning environment for your students and help them succeed in math.